What's up everybody welcome back to exotic as logic again and today we are back with another video on dreams hopes wishes desires and aspirations yes 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 many of you have asked me that we have a lot of dreams hopes wishes desires so how do we know will they come true or not <laughs> all right so i have made another list today in my mobile by which Uh, there are 10 points by which we can understand if uh, the desires or wishes or goals will come true or not but i'm very sure that some of these or maybe all of these will exist in all of us to some to some degree at least may not be to full or it can be up to various degrees depending on the different 10 points which i'll be sharing so if you feel that these points are there then congratulations you will definitely become very successful all your dreams hopes wishes desires will be fulfilled irrespective of what is your destiny irrespective of what is fixed to happen to you which means that you will make it happen somehow or the other now what's the first thing oh uh, yes yes oh yeah and before i begin as i always say god is there with you all the time just look to him and he will help you fulfill your dreams wishes desires and ambitions and if you're new to the channel and you have still not subscribed then please subscribe to it somewhere there below and if you want a consultation then please approach me through my website the link is there in the description below and if you like this video click the thumbs up and share it with somebody who is wanting to know if their dreams will come true all right so what's the first thing that tells maybe our dreams will come true you have a clear vision of who you exactly want to become yes suppose you want to become a doctor yes but doctor in what a dermatologist or anybody yes you want to become a surgeon or you want to become one who uh, subscribes uh, or gives medicines to people yes so whatever it is you are very clear you exactly know what you want to become yes you are not confused you are not like a headless person who doesn't know anything you know i will do this and i will be known because of this all right so this vision is very clear in you you exactly know that i will be known because of this like sachin tendulkar is known because of cricket but within cricket also he is not known because he was a great captain nor was he a great bowler but he was a great batsman so he was known because of that yes so you will be known because of something very specific only yes but that doesn't mean you cannot be known for other areas yes but there has to be something very clear when people see you there's something which has to come in their mind for the first time yes so for example if uh, you think of sachin tendulkar the first thing you think is cricket yes but within that batsman so whatever you want you know it very clearly that yes this is what i want so if there is something so clear in your head and you are working towards it then it's very likely that you will get it because you know where to go yes so the path is just a detail it will anyways happen what's the next thing next symptom that your dreams will become true it's becoming tougher and tougher and tougher and tougher my god <laughs> you do something then there's another challenge you do that also there's another challenge again you do it and there's another challenge my god challenge after challenge after challenge after challenge so many challenges my god you crack something and then something new out of the blue out of the box comes which you have never ever seen before yes which you are clueless what to do how to go now but you go somehow <laughs> but then again you encounter something and that also you go so if the journey is becoming more and more and more and more and more difficult it's becoming more and more tough because they say that if uh, if uh, it's becoming more tough the tough gets going which means now the amount which is more tough is becoming less and less less yes so you are crossing over every hurdle which comes that doesn't mean you cross over them effortlessly yes you may need you you may, you may be jolted yes 
you may hold for six months for one month for two days or for years but as kunti maharani says in the shrimad bhagavatam in the prayers that oh my dear krishna let my consciousness flow towards you like the ganges flows towards the oceans <laughs> without any interruptions without any hindrance so whatever comes in the way of the river ganges it will just cross it and go so if you are becoming like that that whatever obstacle is coming you are like that's it i'm going to cross over it if you are so determined you are so strong by your actions i mean then your dreams will come to one day all right what's the next thing you check milestones which means that you know where you started yes and now you see important points in your journey as milestones where you halted where you came and now where you are yes so suppose you wanted to open a channel in youtube so then you remember suppose 10 years back you started the channel suppose then you remember that 10 years back i had only 50 subscribers <laughs> not even 50 maybe zero subscribers but i was still making videos 10 years back and then it became 50 yes then it became 100 that was one milestone 100 subscribers then it became 500 oh my god then it became 1000 oh my goodness then it became 10000 wow and then it became 1 lakh suddenly yes out of nowhere from 10000 then so much then it became 1 million suddenly yes and then the rest is history <laughs> So if you visualize your journey, yes, and you see that there are different milestones which you have been crossing and you have been successful in crossing them, then you understand that the remaining milestones of the journey will also be knocked off. Yes, so that's the other symptom. What's the next symptom that you will achieve your dreams? People say that you are dreaming too big. My God, this is big actually. <laughs> People say that you are dreaming too much actually. It's unrealistic. It can't happen. Now, I'm not talking of those dreams here. Oh, your girlfriend has gone and you dream that she will come back. I'm not talking of all those here. Yes. But if you have some goals, some purpose and you are working towards it relentlessly. Yes. Then if people are telling you, oh, it's too big man nobody has ever done it how will you do it so if people are criticizing you yes or if people are saying that you cannot do it but the moment you hear them you are like yes you are telling me i can't do it wait and watch <laughs> if you have learned the art of converting the stones which somebody throws to you into bricks for your mountain or for the palace for the building which you are making then understand that you will become very much successful your dreams will come true one day all right now what's the number five you perform radical action rather than procrastinating yes so you are you have gone way ahead of that state where you just sit and you procrastinate yes oh i will do it tomorrow I'll do it tomorrow. I'll do it tomorrow. No, it's done. <laughs> it's not tomorrow. It is not even today. It is all in yesterday. It's done. It's finished. Yes. So, what this means is that you don't keep giving excuses. Yes. You find reasons to do the things rather than finding excuses. Yes. So, suppose you have opened a channel in YouTube. And you have decided that every day I will upload one video, every day, without fail. Then what happens? You don't think, oh, maybe I can't make this video today. You are thinking, how can I get some time to make this video? Yes, even if I have exams, I will somehow make some time. Maybe I will not talk with my mother, maybe today. Tomorrow I will talk with her. <laughs> but this 10-15 minutes video for my subscribers in YouTube I will make it yes and I will make it for myself also because I have given that commitment to myself that every day I will make one video if you are like that 
then remember your dreams will come true one day yes it is already coming true in fact <laughs> so you believe in radical action yes you want to open a channel in youtube you have brought the camera you have the laptop or you have a small mobile like which i have nexus 5 and then you have some kind of a mic stand like this and then you have started yes you may not have a 4k but whatever you have wherever you are in whichever state you are you have started yes you don't keep saying oh i don't have a 4k camera yes you want to prepare for government civil services upsc in india you don't sit and watch videos on youtube on how to crack upsc you directly take the books and you start studying yes that shows that you are doing radical action now rather than procrastinating rather than saying oh maybe after this birthday i will do yes so if that is you then you are going to be extraordinarily successful because you are doing radical action do what it takes yes then you are going to be very successful now what's the next thing you don't waste time in unnecessary gossip yes 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 this is big unnecessary things don't charm your heart anymore you are not interested in knowing which actress got married to which film star or which cricketer you are not interested to know what's going on in the news yes by that i don't mean that you don't see news but you have lost your desire to see useless garbage in the tv or in youtube or so many other things which you are doing yes now you have become ekagra you have your consciousness has become one your consciousness has become lined with your purpose yes which means you are arranging your everyday activities around this goal yes so suppose you have a goal that i want to chant these many number of mantras before ram navmi ram navmi is on 25th yes so now you have decided maybe i will chant 1 million names of lord ram shri ram jay ram jay jay ram maybe <laughs> <laughs> then what you do is you stop watching the tv you stop watching youtube you stop watching facebook you stop even instagram maybe <laughs> and then you sit and you are like no man i need to do it so you are not interested in who is having an affair or what's going on in the world yes you are very focused like arjuna the perfect example in mahabharat when dronacharya asked him everybody yes i hope you know this story when dronacharya asked arjuna what do you see arjuna said i only see the eye of the bird yes as in hindi they say mujhe khali panchi ki aankh dikhai de rahi hai and dronacharya said perfect shoot and arjuna hit the target and the bird fell down knocked off so if you are becoming very focused pin pointed you don't have time for unnecessary gossip drama or useless garbage of this world then your dreams will very well very soon come true all right now the next one is big you are happy socially physically and emotionally which means you are deriving a lot of happiness meaning fulfillment joy content satisfaction love <laughs> all those beautiful adjectives nouns pronouns all those things you are experiencing by your um, by the process which you are undergoing yes so for you it is not important to reach a goal for you it is more important that you are happy doing what you are doing yes so suppose you are plan to open a business then you are very much caught up in doing that yes rather than thinking when i will make a million dollars because money will anyways come that's a by product so suppose somebody has opened a channel in youtube subscribers will automatically come yes today you are having 10 subscribers tomorrow you will have 20 day after tomorrow maybe 30 one day you will have a million billion subscribers but the thing is not how many subscribers you have the thing is what you do after having that that many number of subscribers you will be doing the same thing right which means that if you have a channel now and you have only 10 subscribers you are making videos and some people are watching you but even when you have a million subscribers people will only be watching you yes so you understand that the process is more important than the goal which means you are very much happy overall you 
you are overall very joyous yes because you are enjoying the process you are enjoying the process of making videos or studying for an exam or maybe losing weight or whatever is your goal you are very much caught up so that is giving you a lot of satisfaction a lot of happiness inside a lot of joy inside so you don't have to run uh, behind unnecessary artificial shelters yes like drinking smoking pornography prostitution other sorts of addiction drugs etc because now your work has become like fun <laughs> so if that is happening then you are going to be very successful all right and so you are socially very happy people tell oh he's so happy look at him he's always smiling he's always jumping dancing giggling <laughs> You are physically happy. Physically happy means you are, you don't have much body problems. Sometimes some disease comes. That's okay. But you don't have any problem basically. And emotionally also you are very happy. Yes. Overall, there is harmony in your life because you are de deriving a lot of happiness from something which gives you meaning. So that proves that emotionally, socially and physically you are very happy. And your social interactions are great. People are saying, wow, look at this man. He's amazing. Look at this lady. She's amazing. You don't fake basically, yes? People can observe and find and understand that you are in clouds. <laughs> What's the next sign that you will be extraordinary or your desires will be fulfilled? You distance yourself from people who do not support you. This is big. Is this the number eight? Yes, number eight. You distance yourself from people and things who do not serve your purpose okay who do not support you so suppose you had a big group of friends and all of you are working in a company yes and now you decide due to some reason you don't get along with your boss <laughs> or you have you are tired of working under somebody yes you are totally disgusted you are frustrated you are angry you are stressed you are messed you are depressed <laughs> And you think, oh, I'll open a YouTube channel. I'll do something. I'll share the chords of that my guitar, which I have. I, I, I will just uh, sing using the piano, using the guitar or something. Yes, or you will write blogs or you'll travel the world. Or maybe you speak on astrology. <laughs> something, whatever it is, you decide suddenly out of the blue and that's it. And then among those group of 10 friends, some of them say, eh, what you are doing? You must do a job. Yes, 10 to 5 job. You are not meant for all this. See, these things are good uh, in movies actually. But this, this doesn't happen in reality. In reality, what you should do? Get a job, get married, then settle. And then after some years, you die basically, right? So, if there are people who are telling you like this, discouraging you. They are trying to pull you down. Or they are saying that, you're wasting time. It will not happen. You won't make it. Yes. One day you will cry by seeing others moving ahead. But you will stay in the same place. So when you hear these things. Even if that person is your best friend from last 20, 30, 40, 50, 60 years. You tell the person. I don't want you. <laughs> yes. No, you don't tell him like that. But you distance yourself from them. Which means you will only surround yourself with those people who encourage and who inspire you in your purpose yes rather than sitting with those people who always discourage you who always try to pull you down who always try to tell you that you are just another ordinary person but deep down inside you know no i am not ordinary i am a special person i am extraordinary not that not because uh, i am uh, not that that makes me proud but i was born to do great things you know that inside yes so when you know that and when people around you, maybe your family members sometimes, they're not helping you in that. Yes. Then you distance yourself from them. Yes. Which doesn't mean you go and start fighting with them. But you maintain distance because you know they are not in line with your purpose. Yes. So in 2010, when I left eating non-vegetarian food, many of my friends, I had to let go of them because they said, oh, you're not eating meat then we can't go out then i said okay then we are not going out <laughs> i'm going out with my vegetarian friends okay so you know where to draw the line you are very expert in making sacrifices even if that person was your best friend yes i have 
I have had so many best friends whom I had to let go just because of this one thing, meat. Yes, but I did that, and that is why it's been eight years I am staying away from meat. All right, what's the ninth thing that shows you will be successful? You sacrifice your food, family, friends, and sleep. My goodness, your mother is asking. Oh my God, when will you eat? <laughs> your friends are calling you. Hey man, there's this party. We are going to Goa. We are going to this La La Land, this fantasy land, to this imaginary, illusory world of uh, of the demons and the demigod. There's some La La Land going on. We are going to watch Harry Potter, Game of the Game of Thrones. We are going to do this. We are going to do that. Are you coming? And you are like, no man, I'm busy making videos. <laughs> Your relatives are telling, "Oh my God, this person is getting married. When are you getting married?" You were like, "Maybe after a decade." <laughs> All right. No, I'm not saying they don't get married, but if uh, you you have become so focused that you are sacrificing those things which others are rejoicing. Yes, many people I know they are uh, running after the opposite sex, trying to find a man, trying to find a girl. But then when you hear of them, you feel sorry for them. Yes, and then you decide. No, I don't want the opposite sex. I don't even want good food. I don't even want the food of my mother. <laughs> I will not eat dinner. I will not eat breakfast. Probably I will not eat lunch also. <laughs> All right. I will not go to the pubs. I will not go to that bar and drink alcohol late till the night, and then come and sleep. Oh my God! What will I do next day? No, you are. Letting go of the pleasures and those allurements and those beautiful things, yes, big big engagements where people go and feel happy. You are saying no to all of them because you know that time is very less. Yes, so now you are like family. I don't have much time. <laughs> friends, no, very selected friends. Yes, then you are going to be extraordinarily successful. Take it in writing from me. Yes. And what's the last thing that shows you will be extraordinarily successful? Your dreams always haunt you day in and day out. Whenever you are going outside, you are thinking, "When will it happen?" Oh my goodness! When you are sleeping, you are thinking, "When it's going to happen?" When you are awake, you are thinking, "When it's going to happen?" When you are bathing in the shower, you are thinking, "When it's going to happen?" When you are eating that pizza, or chole bhatura. <laughs> <laughs> or lasagna in Europe, then you are thinking, "Oh my goodness gracious, when is that going to happen? When will that day come?" As in Bengali, they say, "Kabe hove bolo sei din amar." When will that day come? When will I become the star? Yes. So if you are thinking like that, day in and day out, when you are meeting people, you are talking about your your milestones which you have reached. Yes, and people. Get a vibe that oh looks like this person is going. <laughs> they will not tell you, but they will tell somebody else, and that somebody else will come and tell you, oh they are speaking like this about you. It seems you are going somewhere. Where are you going? And then you are like, hang on, man, I am not yet reached. <laughs> All right. So when I reach, I'll be uh, I'll be telling you that. Excuse me, sir. Excuse me, madam. Hello. I've reached. All right. But you understand there is no destination. Because the moment you get to your destination, there's a new destination. I've got a thousand subscribers. Oh my God! Now I want a million subscribers. Then I want a billion. Yes. Then maybe a trillion subscribers, and then the rest is history. All right. So these are the ten things which shows that ten signs, ten indications. Yes, that we are going to be extraordinarily successful in life. All our dreams. Will come true. It is just a matter of time. Yes. So if these things are there, then congratulations. Don't worry. Just keep doing what you are doing. It will happen one day. You will make it big. The world will come to know about you. All right. So that is it from my side. If you want a consultation, then approach me through my website below. And if you like this video, which I am very sure you would have liked it, then click the thumbs up. And good luck for the next coming week. I hope you. Work on your purpose and your dreams, just like the way you have been working. And if you are new to the channel and you have not yet subscribed, then I hope you will subscribe. <laughs>
All right, and share it with somebody who wants to know. Always asking, oh my God, when will my dreams be fulfilled? Yes. So that is it from my side. God is there with you all the time. Just look to him and you will find him. All right. Bye-bye. See you.